welcome back to another video today we are going to talk about obs screen recorder so first of all you need to go to this website i'm using obs all the time for windows it's available for mac and linux i'm using windows so i download it zip file here started downloading click on it run and install it on your windows pc launch your basic OBS and then you need to go and do some settings it has appeared on my desktop screen it's gonna open and it will open with the basic things here it has very powerful tool for streaming with 4k videos and fully HD so you have to set up this one according to your requirements so uh, if you want to use this one for streaming then you click the first option if you want to use this one for recording and screen then you will use this option and if you want to use for virtual camera then you can select whatever you want to select in this section so in my case and i my in my recommendation you choose the central option click next and in this section you have to choose the display resolution and in my case this is all right and here if you want to do recording or something then 30 frames per second that's all right and now you press next and it says like okay there are further more settings you can go back and check if there is anything remaining and then once again you're done you're done okay apply settings and this is you can read the notes and now close button so you're pretty much done i'm using desktop audio and and here in this section you can see scenes area once you're here you can always go back to the tool section and go auto auto configuration wizard and here you can do the basic settings again if you want once again you can see that display is there so that's what you can do so if you want to do it again okay we are pretty much done here and then we will move to the next step now you can just go to file setting and you can check the basic settings there for example here in this area you can see output stream audio video and in general and here in the output section you can go to simple from simple to advanced and can get full control of your recording where you want to save okay i want to save it in my f drive that's an external drive so i can select this one and done here this is very much important i'll talk about it later and anytime you can change but i leave it as default and after that you can custom these settings as well and then press apply okay but this is called scenes and we are pretty much done and now this area sources and scenes we are going to add different scenes okay in the source section you can see a plus button here you can add sources under your scenes so first go to plus and here if you are doing some gamings you can record the game capture here for your desktop and in my case i'm gonna first of all place this display capture and here i hit ok some it will show me some basic things on the screen so leave it up to the resolution which is given automatic and this is here the resolution of my laptop and in your case you can also do this one so here you can see that i have display capture here and i leave the name as display capture if in your laptop it doesn't appear there then you can always go to the graphics and graphic settings and here you can add microsoft store something called uh, obs so you can always add i have added so it will start displaying instead of black screen if there is any black screen here so the next source i'm going to add is the audio capture this is audio output capture so input capture and output capture all right so for microphone uh, in this one you can add microphone microphone external i rename this one and here you can see that this is my external microphone and okay i hide these one desktop audio hide this one as well and you will see that these three options are here so i can always remove this one delete and yes so we added a mic and a display capture and now we're gonna add the desktop on so desktop audio this is my internal laptop audio and speaker so hit ok so now as you can see that these three are already there so i'm speaking right now and my microphone clarity it goes like this way if i click on this one i can reduce the volume and increase the volume as well i can mute as well and here i can mute this desktop sound always like this one if you want to mute we will come here later but first talk about this one this is control panel here here you can always start streaming and then recording and then you can also use start as a virtual camera for zoom conferencing and all those things and here you can studio mode here you can go for setting let's say that we are going to record something so you need to start recording and if i go to my screen okay if i just click anywhere just win button and then back right now i'm recording so i need to finish stop recording and if i go to show recording it will be here if i play okay all right 
It is already there. So it's like a MKB file and you always go to your show record and this one will you will see MKB and now you go to Remux recording and here choose and this is MKB and now Remux and you can always uh, make it MP4. Go to show recording here and then you can see that this is quite easy. It has converted MP4. We can always record MP4 as well like if you go to setting uh, in, in setting you can select MP4 video format as well but this is uh, necessary to record in mk4 but if your computer crashes then your data would be lost you cannot save the data and you cannot relocate that's why it is highly recommended to use mkv format so that you will not lose your data uh, once your computer is crashed or something happens or your battery is down or so you cannot relocate your data so it is always recommended to record in mkv and then easily convert that one into mp4 or any other format by going to remote now if you start and stop your recording then this window will appear somewhere so for that uh, you can cut out always cut out the ending and starting points of your recording but in the meantime you can also go to setting and set the hot keys so that this OBS window will not appear here you can always set any keys like there are tons of options to use these keys for example in my case I just set start recording with one and stop as well with one and pause with two and unpause with two apply and and okay so if I start recording press 1 it will start and press 1 it will stop and then press 2 it will pause and then stop recording so uh, you can set these keys in this section as well now I'm going to the more complex OBS so here you can just click on the scene source and here you can plus scene I will rename this one desktop capture with webcam okay this has created two scenes and here in this section you can see there are desktop audio microphone external and this one here once again quickly you can audio input as my external mic and here I can select my mic quickly and now display capture leave it there display capture 2 is automatic and this one is okay now output and this one is internal sound this one I can use my internal speakers and okay these scenes have been created this is another setting as you can see external mic is there internal sound is there so I mute this internal sound I don't need this one right now and these are pretty much done so now I can add another one and that is video capture device and here I can use iPhone as my external camera so I will use this one as iPhone cam and this is my HP laptop and uh, there is another phone I can use this iPhone as my camera and I have another video by the way how can you use this one here I can show you that like this app uh, this IRIUN I -R -I you can create this one open this one here open it on your laptop as well once you're here it will open after Play Store you can open like this one here and uh, I will show you how it works I have installed this one here webcam and now I can use this one here I need to first choose my front camera and here you can see that IRIUN webcam appears and now you can see I'm on my iPhone I have this one <laughs> only this stand and I can put it somewhere here like this as you can see me there and I can select OK now I can place this camera anywhere here pretty much OK in this section you can drag it to this whole screen as you can see me right here and you can make it smaller as well you can see that this side and this side these are a lot of spaces here so if I want to crop this one I can just hold my alt key and it will crop me from the sides and I can do it from the both sides make it smaller or bigger at this place pretty much done here and you can do it for the OBS as well you can drag and drop and crop it and reset it according to the size of your requirement if you want to capture this size make it like this one and now you can drag something out of the box here here I have a logo I can bring that logo inside I can just drag this one and bring to the OBS here and place it here so I can bring this one and make it smaller like this one and I can place this logo anywhere I like like this and I can place this logo on my video now if you want to add some borders around your video here 
then what you need to do just uh, click on this one here plus icon and here color source and i'm leaving it the name as color source and here you can see select a color and i can choose maybe this color look and pick the green color this has like selected this color here as you can see that it is on my entire screen and so now what i can do i can make it smaller place it here as you can see here but now you can see that my video has gone somewhere and i cannot locate my video so this one works pretty much very close to uh, adobe photoshop so this source is above and this is below so i can drag this one below my cam you can see that it has added a border here grab this one a little bit here hold alt key and i can be a little border here here if i press my logo a tag so i can bring it to the, the, that place it looks pretty much okay now the webcam with a border uh, if you don't want any distractions so you can unhide and hide them anytime any of those sources you added then that's okay after unlocking you can also do one thing uh, this one and hold shift and click this one and this one these three are now selected and right click and you can select group items here and uh, rename it anything you like in my case i renamed this one as video this is my webcam and my logo up here here so i can group this one and then lock okay so if i open this one uh there are three sources a logo this one and you can also use the, these up and down arrows in the future if you want to hide or unhide it will hide and unhide in the group so that's pretty much okay if i want to hide and unhide that's fine all right so if you switch these two scenes then you will see that one scene is a different the other one is a different so this transition area would be much better in this selection so for that you have paid and th this is one here appears you can just switch between two scenes in this section you can see like there are transitions what can i do if i have fade for example this one and if i switch to another one it appears like fade in and okay if i add this one it will preview like this one and now if i tr go for transitions here look it appears like that this is a good transition to switch between two scenes but you need to start and restart and it will appear on this one so you, for that you can also go to setting and set some hotkeys for your transitions as you can switching between two scenes you can set the transitions hotkeys here one two three is taken so i can select four to switch between transitions and if i press four look it switches between two transitions all right so some of the other features are here if you select anyone for example in my case i select my iphone cam and here i can apply some filters and in plus icon it is very nice option here noise uh, suppression if there is some dark or something barking out <laughs> you know dog only dogs <laughs> they bark or uh, any noise you're, you're living in a noisy place so you can have this one noise cancellation and gans and expander and compressors that is pretty much nice too in the filter section you can apply so many filters and also you can delete these filters after for example i apply compressor and here i can control my voice and gain and everything and then i apply another filter expander and this one and i want to delete this one i can delete any time i need i can delete this one after selection in this one if you go to filter you can just plus icon and here you can use chroma key as well if you have any green screen you can use that green screen and color correction and so many things like crop and luma key render and you can also deal with the scaling now let's jump to the profiling here here you can create two profiles for example one is for uh, live stream and the other one is for gaming and the other one for desktop capture so you can create different profiles according to your requirement uh, you can also switch between these two profiles you can create a new one uh, for example one profile has this setting and the other one could have another new setting for your own choice well you can drag and drop any bar any place any setting to anywhere for your custom settings and for your convenience look like you can simply press and hold any place to drag it to anywhere i hope you like the content it was a long video and if you like thumbs up subscribe and smash the like button so that i will bring nice content for you in the future as well and if there was any question write in the comment section down below so that i can answer you see you in another video bye bye